You two, welcome back, baby. You guys are looking really sexy. We're back. I'm ready. You're ready. Another video. You know me. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm on it. You know, I'm a real grinder now. You know, look at me. Uploading three times a week. It's quite impressive. It's great to see you guys anyway. Anyway, we're closing up on 70,000 subscribers. So subscribe to me if you love your mother. You know how it goes. If you don't, you don't love your mom. It's fine. Whatever. Here we go. We are going to be doing a tier list on fast food restaurants. Some of these I've never heard of. Some of these are pretty good. Some of these are in. Eh. We're going to be ranking them on the this list right here. The best ever. Pretty good. Actually, let's change this. We're going to be ranking them on this list right here. We're going to put goat. Pretty good. And eh, never would eat. Don't know. Here we go. Arby's. You guys want me to be honest with you? Do you guys want me to be honest with you? I'll be for real right now if I have to. Arby's, for me, personally, it's one of the worst places I've ever ate in my entire life. It's terrible. I haven't eaten there since I was like seven. It's bad. It's really bad. I, and you know what really surprises me? How is Arby's still in business? Who eats there? Who's keeping Arby's in business? I would love to know who you are because I'm telling you, I... I've never seen anybody in the line of an Arby's. I've never s seen anybody come out with a Arby's bag. I've never I've never heard anyone say, hey, just got back from Arby's. I'm sorry. That's the last place I will ever go, ever. I would never eat Arby's. I would never in a million years eat Arby's. Jack. I don't know what Jack is. I don't know Jack, so I'm going to kindly pass Jack. Never had it. A&W. A&W, I've had it once. It was eh. Nothing that really impressed me. Nothing really, nothing really like, uh, the, the, the root beer is good, but you know what I mean? Nothing that really, their food isn't all that great. You know what I mean? It's really not all that great. Auntie Anne's. Now, now this one right here has a special place in my heart, and I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but I only had this place inside of a mall you would go to the mall with your mom your dad or friends and you would guys you guys would be like hey let's go get some pretzels at over auntie ann's and you go over there and you would get some pretzels and they have some really good pretzels i'm in their pretzels slapped you guys you guys am i the only one that's ever done that you guys went to the mall and got auntie ann's correct right it was that just me i'm gonna put i'm honestly gonna put auntie i'm gonna put auntie ann's at uh, do we need another slot i feel like should we put in another slot like good pretty good and then goat because i feel like this is an ant but it's not pretty good it's like a snack we need to add it we need to add one more row all right so good pretty good and then goat. so i'm gonna put auntie ants in good because i don't think it's gonna compete it's not like some of the best of the best okay boston homestyle meals market i've never had it personally i've never had it so i can't i cannot put my judgment on the boston homestyle meals i've never had it before but to well, be honest that sounds pretty good I'll keep it a buck. I've never had Boston Market. I've never had it before. Burger King. This is going to be a deep cut. This is going to be a really deep cut. Honestly, Burger King, I only like one sandwich from Burger or one burger from Bur Burger King. That is the Whopper. The Whopper is great when it's fresh and when it's good. Other than that, I can't say I like it. So I'm going to give Burger King the eh. I don't think it's good. I'm going to put Burger King in eh. Because I, I would eat it if it came down to the situation. I would eat it. But you're... I. It would be it would be tough for me to eat. It's like eh, if we have to. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Okay, checkers. Oh my God. Okay, short little story time about checkers. And I really don't like checkers. Uh, I had checkers. I've had checkers one time in my life. It was before my first high school basketball practice. I picked up checkers. I need to get something in my stomach. I'm about to go to basketball practice. So what do I do? I get myself some uh, a nice greasy burger with some fries and i smash it down as fast as i can before i get to the basketball practice i end up shitting myself mid-practice literally shit myself mid-practice uh my first high school practice ever i shit myself because of checkers not that is not a joke i i'm not exaggerating that i literally shit myself you guys are the first to ever hear that story. I've never told that anybody that story. That was, that was one I wanted to hold deep and dear to myself to the day I died. But for the YouTube video, I'll let it leak. But I did actually poo myself after eating checkers. So I'm going to give checkers a 3 out of 10. It was good, but it just destroyed me. Actually set a bomb off in my stomach, and I've been scarred since. I've never eaten there since since the year of 2016. I'm going to have to put in never would eat again. I'm sorry. Chick-fil-A. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. But everybody that talks shit about Chick-fil-A, it's the GOAT. I, there's, I mean, come on, it's the goat. Go, no, there's no question about it. If you, if you've never had Chick Fil A and you don't live in the states or you can't, you know, Chick Fil A is my favorite fast food restaurant ever. As, as of this moment, I would go there nine out of ten times. If you gave me any of these options, I would go there nine out of ten times. Now, there's some other options here that you guys are not gonna like that I'm gonna make, but Chipotle is definitely, is definitely a goat. Favorite one. I've never had Chick Fil A. You need to try it if you haven't. Chick-fil-A doesn't even exist in Sweden. If you don't live in the States, dude, I recommend if you do come to the States, try it. Chipotle. What do I want to do here? I'm going to put Chipotle in the goat goat, goat status as well. I really am. These two are probably my top most. I've, I've probably eaten. This is probably the two places I eat the most. Um, I've probably got 
two more on the goat status in this entire thing, I think, when I look at it. Uh, I've never had Cinnabons before. Cinnamon, Cinnabons, I've never had this. It's most fast food place, I've never had it. So I'm gonna put it never had. Now, some of you are really, 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 really gonna hate me for this one. Personally, one of my favorite places, one of my favorite, favorite sub places. It's really good. It's really good. I don't know why I enjoy it so much, but I really like Jimmy John's. I do. I'm telling you, Jimmy John's is extremely good. I'm gonna put Jimmy John's, not goat status, but it's really close. It, it honestly might I, I'm sorry, I have to. I'm, I have to. It's that good. I like Jimmy John's that much. I have to. I'm sorry. I have to put Jimmy John's in GOAT status. I'm sorry for those of you that don't agree, but I like Jimmy John's a lot. Like, a lot. I would... If you were to give me these three options, they would be all almost equally split. Honestly, JJ, Jimmy John's, and Chipotle, equal, in my opinion. In my That's in my opinion. And Kayla would agree with me on that. Uh, Dairy Queen. Be honest with you, Dairy Queen, I only go there for ice cream. I'm not going to go there for burgers. I'm not going to go there for anything else. Dairy Queen is one of those that's just like, let's go get ice cream. I can't believe people eat there actually. So I'm going to put it in eh. I've only had their ice cream. Actually, I have had their food before, but it wasn't very good. Dunkin' Donuts. It's good. They've got decent, mediocre coffee. Most of the time it's watered down. Uh, they've got, you know, mediocre. Everything's mediocre at Dunkin'. It's good, but it's not that good. Starbucks blows Duncan out of the water. I don't know Duncan's an East Coast thing. You East Coasters are going crazy right now. Like, holy shit. What do you mean you don't like? What do you mean you don't like Duncan? America runs on Dunkin'. I know America runs on Duncan. It doesn't run me though. Okay. Starbucks every time over Dunkin' Donuts. Sorry. Period. Point blank. Bang. Done. I've never had this place. I don't even know what that is. Ellington Burgers or what? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that says. El Polo Loco. I've never had that either. Never heard of it. Five guys. Mm. This is another one where it's like... Five Guys is really, really, really good, but it also kind of makes me sick. It's like when you eat, you're like, you enjoy 20 minutes of that, and you're like, that was good. And then you shit the rest of the night, and you have massive diarrhea, and you're stacking turds this big in the toilet and leaving stains everywhere. And I don't want to talk about this on stream, but it, it blows your stomach up. So for that reason, for that reason... It doesn't belong in the GOAT status stream, but I will tell you, it is very good coming into your mouth. It's... Oh, come on, Steve, you stupid mother Anyway, Hardee's. I've had Hardee's before. Hardee's is like a Georgia thing. I see it a lot in Georgia. It's not that good. I'll, I, it's not that good. I would never choose to stop there. I would never choose to stop. I would never choose to stop there. I am going to put In-N-Out Burger. I have had In-N-Out Burger. I know claps. I went to California a few months ago. I had In-N-Out Burger for the very first time. It's like a Chick-fil-A, but burgers. Would anybody else agree with that? If you've ever been to Chick-fil-A, you can compare Chick-fil-A with In-N-Out Burger. They're quick with your order. Good food, fast, easy, in and out. It's literally in and out. Like, that's the best way to make the name for it. In and out, right? Ba yeah, Bowie agrees. It's it's like a Chick-fil-A, but with burgers. Great service. It's good. And it, they have great food. They do have great food. And if you're comparing this to fast food, they have great food. That's goat status for me. I'm sorry. I know it's overrated, but it's overrated for a reason. Jersey Mike's have been meaning to try, but I've never actually tried it. I've heard it's really good. I've heard it's better than Jimmy John's. I want to get around to it. There's one close to me. I just haven't had the time to try it. Uh, there's no Jimmy John's around me. The Jimmy John's near me actually closed down. So apparently nobody else likes Jimmy John's other than me because it closed down. The one I was originally going to Jimmy John's, it closed down. Jersey Mike's I've heard is really good. That's I want to try that next. KFC. I would never eat the K. I, I I went through a phase. My family went through a phase where we would get KFC every now and then, and I just. It was just gross. It was gross to me. I don't like it. It doesn't it doesn't taste like clean food. It just tastes like grease in a bucket, in my opinion. In my opinion. They it tastes like grease in a bucket. Everything in everything in KFC is buns. The vegetables are terrible. The everything's just grease. Garbage, in my opinion. I would never eat there. I didn't realize this was a fast food place, but they do have good donuts. I'll put them in good. I don't really like donuts. I'll put them in eh. I don't really like donuts anymore. I went through a phase when I was younger. I like donuts. I don't really like donuts anymore. So we're gonna put the Krispy Kreme and eh. Long John Silver, I have never eaten here. And there's a reason I've never eaten here because it's, gr it, I, it just sounds gross. Fast food fried fish. How, how does any, how does that sound good to anybody? If you eat at Long John Silver, I have a question. Are you, are you good? I've never heard anybody say, oh my God, Long John Silver is amazing. You got to try. I've never heard anybody say that ever in my entire life. Normally when I see a Long John Silver, it's in a rundown part of the city where one light's flickering and there's one dude working and it looks like it looks like a, you know what I mean? I've never had it. It's a, it's a don't know. I've never had it and I, I I will never try it. McDonald's is good, depending on what you get. I like, all I like there is a, just a plain cheeseburger, just cheese. No condiments, nothing else, just cheese. A cheeseburger, if you will. That's all I'll eat at McDonald's. They've got good shakes and stuff, but that's all I'll eat. I'll put it in good. It's not really good, it's good. Panda Express. I'm gonna be honest, I like Chinese food and this place is actually good. Cheap Chinese food, it's, it's not terrible. I'm gonna put it in good. I'm not gonna put it in really good, it's good. Panera Bread, mmm.
I didn't see Panera Bread. This, I mean, this, it's, it's, do I go all the way with this or do I keep it legitimate? Because I, I'm, I'll keep it real. I'll keep it real. I'm going to have to give Panera. It's not going to go all the way. Panera is just going to have to sit right with five guys, in my opinion. It's not goat, but it's good. Way too overpriced for not enough food, in my opinion. You get very little food for a lot of money. It's good, but it's not that good. Okay, Popeyes, I've actually never had Popeyes before, and I know some of you are really going to hate me for that. Like I said, I, I, I haven't had a whole lot of fast food in my life. I've, I've tried a few, like most of these places, I've only had a, a, like a handful of times, once or twice, not even trolling. And the air would never eat. I've had them a few times, maybe. Popeyes, I've actually never had Popeyes. I know you guys are really going to hate me for that. I'm sorry. I will try it. One of these times, I will try it. Um, Quiznos. I had Quiznos when I was younger. It was eh. Actually, Quiznos was where they cook it right in front of you. It was actually pretty good. Quiznos was good. I, is Quiznos still in business? Is Quiznos still a thing? Or is that like, it, what, what is that? I forget. Is is that like even still like happening? I don't, I haven't seen a Quizno in years. Has, does anybody know, like seen a Quizno recently? Um, Raising, uh, Raising Canes, I've also never had. I know you guys are going to really hate me for that. You guys are really going to hate me for that one. Raising Canes, I've never had Raising Canes. Oh, you guys are really going to hate me. You guys are really going to hate me. I've never had Sonic either. I've never had Sonic. I've never had Whataburger. This hurts, guys. You don't know Jack in the Box? No, we don't. I've never seen a Jack in a Box in my entire life. I've never seen him. Steak and Shake is... Steak and Shake is... It's good. If you want to have a heart attack, it's good. It's good. But it's not really good. It's good. It's, uh... Yeah. Subway, I'm also going to have to put with good. It's good, but it's, like, not really good. It's, like, you know, I'll eat that, you know, more than 50% of the time, but I'm not going to... Taco Bell! I'm going to have to put in good, but honestly, it's really tough for me to put it in good because it's really borderline eh. Because... If, if we're going to talk about upset stomachs, bro, Taco Bell makes me want to just explode. It literally makes me want to explode every time I have Taco Bell. I can't. I can't. Taco Bell is in. Eh. It's not, though, because their, their cheesy gordita crunches are amazing. They really are. Wendy's. Wendy's only has uh, one good burger and really good lemonade. That is it. I'm going to put in eh. Right along with Burger King. I think Wendy's and Burger King are the exact same restaurant, in my opinion. Exact same restaurant. Zaxby's. I've never had Zaxby's as well. I've never had that. I've never had this, and I've never had White Castle, and I don't even know what this is. So that, my friend, this is my uh, tier list of fast food restaurants.